Are you ready for this? Come and fly away with me. Come and fly away with me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I had the idea to rate all my bags and to give an honest opinion if it's worth to get it or not. I collected all my bags here with me now and I'm going to go through all of them. They're not that much actually. I will also close this video off with a unboxing. But before we get started, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already. My goal is to have 100 subscribers and it would be really, really nice if you would help me to get there. I definitely see all of you who are subscribing to my channel and I get very happy. Please like the video and let's get started. So my idea is to show you all my bags in a chronological order of when I got them and I will also rate all the bags from 1 to 10. By the way, I don't know exactly all the names from the top of my mind anymore. So if you're interested, please let me know in the comments down below. So my first bag ever, actually the first designer bag I ever bought is this one. I don't know how I can show it properly. So this is the first bag that I ever got for myself. Oh, I actually remember how this is called. This is called a serene bb i think i really have to look it up if you like it i can look it up later so let me know but i think it's serene or something this is my first bag that i ever got for myself i just immediately fell in love with the shape and these golden straps and how it looks like actually after i got it i didn't even wear it that much because it started to annoy me really really fast which i didn't expect because i was so in love with this one especially because it's my first but it started to annoy me so much and mainly because of these straps as you can see you can wear it like on your shoulder and that's also basically the only way that you can wear this bag which i thought it was really cute but this strap just always keep falling on my shoulder it can never sit for one minute it always keeps falling so whenever i'm walking outside i just constantly need to hold it like this or otherwise it will fall or i just need to hold it like this but it's just not handy i don't know i didn't find a way to wear this properly it looks really nice but comfort with this one for me is really low so actually this one is sitting in a closet for the longest time of all of them which is really sad because it's so cute but i just hate to wear it and i get really really annoyed when i'm having this on my shoulder so if i would rate this bag i would say it's a four or five out of ten it's really cute but i just never touch it because it's so extremely annoying especially with these straps so yeah that is my first bag then the second bag that i have is my classic never full and of course i also have a hot stamp of my initials i i don't know how to hold this um this bag really has a special place in my heart because i also think this is the most worn one out of all the bags that i have it's just super handy and it's so easy to take anywhere and as the name says it's never full so i can actually put anything in there without it ever getting full except like groceries or something but lately i haven't really worn this a lot because i see more and more people having this i just feel like it's a bit out of the trend now i still really like it i still like how it looks i still like how it feels when i'm wearing it and crazy enough these straps never fall off my shoulders and those previous ones always fall so i don't know why but there's definitely a difference between those bags it's really hard to find out in the store because you're just having it on your shoulder for a few minutes in front of the mirror without walking and moving that much so you can't really find out how it will be after you purchase a bag so that's always a guess for me but this one has been really good to me and i absolutely love it so i would give this bag a 9 out of 10 i would definitely recommend you this bag i really like this then my third bag that i have is also a lv bag and i swear after this one i don't have lv bags anymore the third one that i have is this pink wallet bag yeah when i had those two bags i was looking for 
a smaller bag that I could just put as a crossbody bag so that's why this one caught my eye and I don't know why but a few years ago I was apparently really into LV <laughs> so I saw this bag which really caught my eye because I love this color and I love pink and this one is also shiny and I also wanted something that was not that eye-catchy like all these extreme monograms so this one was actually perfect for me the color, the shine and that it's kind of low-key I wore this actually quite a lot but it's also a bit worn out so as you can see this bag really gets worn out really fast because of the light color and the gloss on top of it i still feel like it's worth it because i really love this color and how it looks like oh and inside you also get these two i don't know how you call it attachments or like little mini bags which makes it really feel like a wallet so you have this one a little mini bag and this is just the inside of a wallet basically so you can put your cards here and here also something else actually in reality i always get these two out before i take this because i just feel like with these two all the space inside of this small wallet is immediately gone i would rate this a a 7 out of 10 i really like it i also have a trick with this bag because normally this chain is extremely long and then i found out for myself that you could actually put this hook through this ring here and then you can just pull this thing and make it shorter you can make it shorter by clicking this hook half or what i do most of the time is I get this thing all the way to the other side and I click this hook on the other side and basically I just folded this chain double so I have two chains and then I can just use it on my shoulder then the fourth bag that I have is also a chain wallet kind of bag so is this one because I love that pink one so much I was looking for a similar one but in a dark color so it's more resistant and more durable so I was looking for actually almost exactly the same one but then in a darker color and I found it with this bag so I'm really happy with this one I just feel like you can wear this with a lot of outfits because it's black and it just looks so classy and cute as you can see i also did a little trick with the chains here i just cross the chain on both sides of this strap so it looks like this from the inside and then i close it so i really like to use it like this so i can also put it on my shoulder on the back side you have a little area where you can put things and the inside is actually pretty similar with that pink one except that you don't get those two things separately i would give this one a 8 out of 10 then the fifth one that i got is this one from mcm yeah i always had a thing for mcm i was always really curious but i never got a bag so i got this one i forgot what the name is it's a much bigger one compared to all those wallets bags it's a real bag now and it also has a huge strap that you can use as a crossbody i really like how this looks like just the shape of it and the way how it opens like this the inside is really spacious and you also have a zipper here behind and also on the back side you have a area only thing that i don't like about this thing is that this button doesn't work properly sometimes it just jumps open and it's really annoying even when i'm pushing Pushing it in, it's like still not closing. Look, it's happening again. So you really need to put some force for it to close. If I would rate this, I would say it's a 6 out of 10 because everything is fine. But if this thing is not optimally, it's just really annoying. And then my next bag that I have is this huge long champ shopper i actually got this one for my trip to china because i didn't want to take my lv bag it is huge and heavy and i didn't want it to be damaged or anything so that's why i was trying to find the alternative that is easy to take lighter and durable so that's why i found this one 
and I chose pink because my suitcase is also pink but now I see it and I'm thinking about it maybe it was a better choice to choose another color what I think about this one it's okay I don't love it I feel like this material feels a bit like a raincoat or something and inside it really feels like a raincoat it just feels a bit like cheap or plasticky which i don't really like about it just this material i don't know it's so flimsy like it doesn't have any shape on its own also because you can fold it of course when i'm using it it's just like so flimsy which i don't like and i also wish there would be some more like compartments because the only compartment you have is this place but it doesn't even have a zipper or anything so it's just completely open like this the rest is just a huge black hole that is super flimsy it's okay like it fits a lot of stuff it's easy to take because it's lightweight and you can also fold it meh i wouldn't buy it again or anything so if i would rate this bag i would say it's also a 6 out of 10 it's okay but not that great okay the next one is this one i think it's marmon or something but yeah it's this little one i got this at the airport before i went to china because i forgot to take a little crossbody bag i was just curious what they had so i went in and i came out with this one ever since i bought this so impulsively i really fell in love with this one and it really wasn't a waste of money because i use this one almost every day i can actually fit quite a lot so i can definitely fit my phone in here a few cards and my keys maybe even my airpods also it looks small but it's actually quite useful also this color is really cute i never had a beige or brown bag before so this one really caught my eye also in combination with the golden details i really like this one but the only thing that i don't like is this heart i think a lot of people actually like this heart but i just find it really stupid i just don't like how it looks like but luckily it's on the back so you don't see it so if i would rate this one i would say this is a yeah this is also a 9 out of 10 because i'm using this a lot almost every day so yeah it's a 9 out of 10 for me and those were actually all my bags for so far i wanted to do two unboxings after rating all my bags because i had one bag on the way and one bag that i haven't opened yet but the bag that came yesterday came in a super sad and ugly envelope so i couldn't do the unboxing but i have my new bag here which looks like this oh my god it's also a long champ bag but a excess one or a mini one yeah I, I don't know i i can't explain it i don't want to explain it it just kind of happened <laughs> so basically what happened is i saw that you could customize your bag there and i was just playing with it and i ended up making this design that looks pretty cool so yeah i got it but now that i see it like this this is not really my usual a few moments later i actually quite like how it turned out you could choose all the colors your initials of course but it took i think around four to five weeks to arrive i think it also came from friends and of course they have to make everything personalized so they built this whole bag exactly as how i wanted it which is quite special i've never done something like this before so it's quite an experience to see my own creation now like right here in my hand comparing with all the bags that i have this is definitely not really my style because i like to keep things low-key and as you can see my initials are here and also here it's quite a lot this bag is quite in your face and my initials are also inside in this bag you also get this long strap so you can use it as a cross body bag and i'm really positively surprised by the material of this bag i don't know if you can see it but it's kind of a i don't know what this is like a cloth material it's like more of a cotton material or something i don't know what it exactly is in comparison with this flimsy raincoat version i don't know how to rate this because i've never worn this before and i have zero experience with this but looking at it and how it looks like yeah it's pretty cute i would give it a yeah i would give it a seven it looks pretty cute and it's personalized this is definitely something that you can never resell anymore because 
my name is completely written all over this bag I doubt that anyone has this initials um, at least I've never seen anyone before with these initials So it definitely makes it harder to resell it if you don't like it anymore Or you really need to find exactly somebody with the same initials And that person also need to like the color that I chose for this bag For now I don't have the intention to resell it I just think it's a nice thing to keep for myself And now I want to do an unboxing I'm so excited because I already got this one last week But I was I was waiting for this bag to arrive so I could film everything in once. I really tested my patience not to open it immediately when I got home and to wait to open it together with you guys. So now is finally the moment of this unboxing and this will be the newest baby in the collection. There is a box in here so it looks like this. I think I can just hold it like this because it's small anyways. So let's unbox this one. Oh my god i'm so excited okay i'm going to open the flap like this here is a little bag are you ready for this it's this one oh my god I'm so in love with this and I'm so happy that I'm seeing it again after a week. It's a horse pit, 1955, a mini version in beige. I know this name pretty well because I just got it. <laughs> but yeah, this is my newest bag and I'm so in love with this. First of all, the color and that it's so subtle. There's nothing much inside. But from my experience with all my other bags, I don't need anything inside. I always like to use my bags empty. I'm super, super happy with this one. Of course, I don't know what the experience will be with this one. But I'm definitely expecting a good experience. But for now, I would just give this a 10 out of 10. And that was the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you think about all these bags. And if you're interested in one, if you have any questions, please also leave it down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. But for now, that was my video. Thank you so much for watching again. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already. And like this video if you like it and i will see you in the next one bye